session. Senators, I'm sure you've all heard about the argument about territory between China and its neighboring country. With all these disputes about the territory in the South China Sea, many think that we should pass new laws to support our Vietnamese allies. They believe that we should lift the arms embargo on socialist Vietnam. I will, provi I will provide three reasons why this is an absurd idea. First, this will risk antagonizing China and Russia. Second of all, Vietnam can still get its uh, weapons elsewhere. And third of all, we can already lift the embargo on a case-to-case -case basis. First of all, we can will risk antagonizing China and Russia. We need good relations with China to discuss many matters. Seeing as we are already in the middle of negotiations with China and there's already enough friction between the two countries with packing being hostile, I think lifting the arms embargo will only anger China. And if that weren't enough, giving the arms to uh, Vietnam will antagonize Russia too, because they're a main source of arms for Vietnam. They'll lose, well, so to speak, they won't gain money if we decide to provide them with the arms. And the fact that U.S. weapon makers will uh, have profit, Do, don't you think that it'll be um, a waste of our resources if we just um, make everything and then give it off to another country, even if we get money in the process? And uh, apparently, uh, some senators say that this it sends signals to China that the U.S. is serious. But the entire point is not to get into another uh, war or altercation. And we're not going to back up Vietnam. At least we're just going to lift the trade embargo and try to um, mess with it as little as possible after that. Vietnam can still get weapons from other countries. Just because the U.S. is not handing out guns like chocolate bars does not mean that Vietnam can't get its weapons from somewhere else. There's plenty of developed countries that would offer them arms in return for money. Think of all the developed countries in the world. Of course, Russia is an option, but there's also many other developed countries, especially many of them in Europe. President Obama has the authority to lift the arms embargo on a case-by-case -case basis, and he's already done so before. We can lift the arm embargo only when the sequire, um, sorry, only when the situation requires it, according to BBC News. Vietnam will take a long time to get accustomed to U.S.'s weapons. Also, we, Vietnam's weapons are are ended, and they're no longer in use by American soldiers. U.S., on the other hand, has much more modern weaponry. Which option would you choose? Working with outdated weapons that you know perfectly well how to use, or dealing with state-of-the-art weaponry that you have to have extra training to figure out? Senators, this bill will solve none of our problems for the problems of Vietnam. I hope you will not pass this bill. Thank you. There was 3.36. Questions? You stated how um, it's going, uh, having the arms trade is going to increase uh, the uh, the profit of our arms dealers. Yet you also said how Russian, it, it's more important for us to look at Russia's economy and how they benefit from this. Why do you feel that it's more important to look at Russia and their benefits and, instead of boosting our own economic um, powers? Uh, could you repeat the question, please? Yeah, um, you stated in your speech how by um, by by not having the um, by not the, by not lifting the arms embargo, we will make sure that Russia continues to have this money. But why do you think it's more important that Russia continues to get this money instead uh, instead of stimulating our own economy and giving that money to our arms dealers? Um, you, you might have misunderstood me. Um, I didn't say anything about um, having Russia's economy uh, or anything about caring about Russia's economy. I just said that Russia might be 
angry if we take detract from their economy. It's more about diplomacy than uh, their the money that they gain. Same thing. Okay. Uh, in one of your sources, you had uh, pointed out that the embargo should be lifted when necessary. Are you trying to say that this time, when China is being as aggressive as it is right now, is not necessary for us to send um, weapons to Vietnam? Um, I believe that the well, the cons outweigh the pros. I believe that now is not the best time in diplomacy and in basically peace between China and the United States to give the weapons. Oops. So, so you said that we can get um, we can get weapons from other countries such as Russia or other European countries, but like for example, Russia is more affiliated toward China and. China is telling Russia not to sell some uh, some weapons to Vietnam. So I believe that um, the U.S. is the best choice for Vietnam. What are you What are your thoughts about on this? I absolutely agree on the first part. I believe that um, I agree with you that Russia might be so to speak, be controlled by China and their request. But I also believe that there are many other options that, that Vietnam can choose from. Vietnam can ask many other uh, countries, especially European ones, uh, that uh, for weapons and for munitions. 